I'm excited to talk to this man, man. He's a dating <laughs> coach. You know what I'm saying? He do his thing. Okay, man. Okay, baby. Okay. I mean, all right, with the sa- sound effects. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's an author. I feel like I'm at a Jamaican party right now. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The man is that nigga, man. I got to introduce my motherfucking dog, Mr. Lombardio. What's happening? What's going on? What's popping? What's the deal, man? What's going on with you guys? It was good. We had to drop some flame on you for that one, bro. No more. What's going on with y'all? Y'all good? This for you. This for us. for to yeah, got to do to the woman kind out here because that's what they do to us. They stress us out. You're man. stressing true. me out, true. and I'm pretty sure See? you're probably <laughs> stressing him <laughs> out <laughs> with all these sound that's effects. You, you keep talking that shit. Jesus Christ. Hey, man, Mr. Lucario, man, we definitely are glad to uh, have you here. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, man. I really do. I appreciate you guys having me. Hey, man, so, uh, I mean, I gave a little intro to who you are, man, so please, uh, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm a, uh, a dating, I missed anything. I'm a dating and life coach. I help people figure out exactly what they want uh, in their dating lives, you know, their life in general. Just try to help right. people steer them in the right direction, you know, get what they really want versus what they feel like they think sh- they should do or they think they want, you know. So I try to get to the real deal and uh, and help them find whatever it is that they're looking for, you know. And I, I just like mm-hmm. to keep it extremely honest. When it comes to uh, people talking about relationships and dating and all that, you know? Yeah, man, definitely sound like a good point, man. So I definitely been checking you out on YouTube, man. You've been saying a lot of high fire that I salute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dropping that fire. <laughs> you That's Jamaican? Yeah, my, my family, you my Jamaican? father's side of family, Jamaican. Hey, I saw, you know. <laughs> I, I grew up in Flatbush in, in Brooklyn, so that's like the, you know a lot of Jamaicans in that area. You feel me? So that's how that's how it goes. Oh, okay, okay. I've never been to Jamaica. So <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm a Haitian. I've never been to Haiti, so <laughs> you're not Haitian. You're in the bro. same. Yeah, we're in the same boat. Bro, Don't worry about Haitian, it. Right, right. All right, whatever. I don't even want to do it because we got company tonight. I don't even want to do it. In front Act of like company. you got some sense. <laughs> All right, man. So I definitely want to <laughs> ask you, man. I've been looking at a lot of your videos and stuff. Right. I love what you do. First question would you would you be how did you start out? Because I mean, like, I look at it like this, man. We all, you know, I'm wondering, like, did you start out like a player and then mm-hmm. you know you just you know got to the vice you with, or was you kind of like me, a simp that turned into a pimp? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know? nah, I think I think you know, I think most dudes were simps at first because you know you you've been brought up to believe certain things that's not true when it comes to women. Cause so I was the same way. I was, you know, I, I was told you gotta, you know, you gotta open doors for women, pull out chairs, buy them flowers, all that other stuff, treat them nice. Right. So, you know, I went down that route and I was <laughs> you like, that, you know, <laughs> I went down that route. I was like, this ain't working. You know what I'm saying? I was like, none of this mm-hmm. is working. What's going on? So I, I started to look at the guys who actually uh, was getting girls and I was, sort of seeing what they were doing. And I was like, okay, I see what's going on. So I was looking at what was really happening versus what was being said. You feel me? So that's the thing that made me, you know, get into get into it. And then it was just, you know, I, as time went on, I learned certain things from certain people around my way. And then, you know, I would research a lot of things. I would try a lot of things out. And then that's how I sort of like taught myself how to really, you know, make it happen, you know? So, yeah. I get that. So was it kind of like, I mean, so if you start out like a set, right? Right, pretty much, pretty much. But me too, me too. So I remember, <laughs> I remember it clear as day when she I transformed. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh dear right. God. She always talks some bullshit. She <laughs> already know. If it wasn't for my pimp way, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. God Uh-oh. damn it. <laughs> no, I am. Just anyway, man, we all have a point of our lives where we simps, and mm. we get to a point. Hopefully, the guys get to a point where they like, man, yo. You know, like, um, you know, why am I doing this? Why do I keep doing this? And I feel like things need to change. Because for me, I'll give you an example, right? My my point was I was with a girl and she broke up with me. Right. And I'm sitting around, I'm crying, I'm distraught, I'm fucking, uh-huh. oh, this is that. But then after a while, I'm like, why am I crying over this? This is this one shit? No way. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So, and I, <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it kind of like snowballed effect because I put those thoughts into the universe. Right. And I ran across uh, uh, Patrice O'Neill. Mm. I started looking yeah, to Patrice O'Neill. 
Right. I started listening to uh, Dante Nero, uh, Alan Roger Curry, and now you right. and and uh, Tariq. Tariq a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know, Tariq don't, you know. <laughs> I mean, Tariq, you know, he he doing better, bigger stuff now. But I think, you know, what I'm saying they had better game than what he had. But you know, right. no, I'm shit on Tariq. You know, what I'm saying Tariq. <laughs> Now, to me, got some good shit, though. That's that's I I, I read the Art of Mac when I was like 19. That shit was like, yeah, I got the book too, but I don't feel like it did nothing for me. That's what I'm saying. Nah, that shit doesn't. (laughs) And I feel you. (laughs) I guess it worked for different people. What would I? Right. But so, what was that point where you transformed to the man that you are? Where you just like, yeah, man, this shit ain't working. I mean, well, the thing was, I, you know, I remember there was this girl I was dealing with and I remember specifically, I, I said to her, I asked, I said, yo, what's your ideal type of guy? Right. And she she right. described me to a T, but she wasn't she wasn't dealing with me. So it was like at the time I had dreadlocks. She was like, yeah, I like guys, you know, tall guys with dreadlocks, with dark skin or whatever. So I'm like, yo, that's me. Like, what's going on? Like, why you you know? And then so later on, what I found out was it, a lot of, you know, attracting women and getting women interested in you and investing in you has a lot to do with your you know your vibe your personality that's the thing that sticks you understand what i'm saying so it was like right. i had to learn that the hard way because it was like you know when i grew up i was i was trying to get things going with girls and it was just like i was doing all the wrong stuff i was being extremely too nice i was pandering to them i was you know being extra like you know catering to their needs and all that shit and none of that was ha- was working mm-hmm. so i was like okay i gotta i gotta switch this up something ain't right here you know what i mean so and then i saw dudes who right. were you know not necessarily treating a woman bad, because I think people get that mixed up. You don't have, a tr- have to treat women bad. Of course, it's I ran into that so, too. So just being honest with yourself, and then more of that realistic side of your personality comes out when you're dealing with women. With women. And I feel like women gravitate more to that type of guy who's a little bit more authentic. You know what I mean? So that's where you know that's what happened with that. You know? Right. I get what you mean. So, I mean, like. I, I I seen the same thing too when you you see the the bad the quote unquote bad guys out here. You think that's what right. you gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Right, but, right. Yeah, you, might, you just gotta be honest and really tell a chick what it is in the dating game. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, like, I will say this, man. I watch a lot of your videos mm. and I got one big beef with you. Right. Right? Uh-huh. Ready? This is my beef with you, man. I right. agree on ninety percent on what you're saying, but this ten percent made me be like, "Yo, I got shut right. off, man." <laughs> you are an advocate on taking women out on dates. I disagree, one hundred percent, totally, man. So, can but you, like, never take a chick on a date, is that? <laughs> well, because I mean, which I is a lie. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be oh, here okay. today if you didn't take me on a date. So. Yeah. First of all, I'm gonna do what I did. Just you know saying, what I'm you know. I, I mean, I you contradict yourself all the time, sweetheart. How like, am I contradicting myself? <laughs> we went on multiple dates. Okay, right? man, you act like you the only girl I ever talked to in my life. Okay, it's fine. Go ahead with your question, sweetheart. All right, man. Whatever. You okay. see what I'm saying? This is why this girl is ripping, about to make me rip my hair out. Man. This is why I, <laughs> I ain't got that much because of it. she's okay. crazy. That's funny. Right. That's funny. All right, so yeah, all right. all right, man. So would you taking chicks out on a date? Because I look at it like this. Mm-hmm. Mathematically, okay. Right. I already know if you want to have sex with one girl, you gotta holler at 10. Right. Right. Uh-huh. So if I'm uh get 10 chicks, whether it be online or offline, and I say, yo, let's meet up. Mm-hmm. So downtown Chicago, where I live at, right. Um, uh, you know, it might be a Starbucks cheat date, right? Right. But you got to think about uh, me taking the train now, mm-hmm. 250. Right. right? <laughs> Don't uh, break your bank. Oh, Watch oh, out. Oh, oh, it's 250. <laughs> she, has oh, man. To, <laughs> she has to get there too. Man, fuck up, man. She ain't talking about me. <laughs> So two fifty. Okay, so we're two dollars and fifty cents. I'm gonna keep track of this. Like, you actually gotta get four fifty to get back. Well, yeah. well, five dollars to get back. Okay, so we'll, de- so we'll say five dollars to get that two and Ooh. back. Yeah, and five dollars. You get to the um um uh, the place. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get there. Mm-hmm. You probably get a nice little coffee, or whatever, or, or a little, oh, another little, three dollars. Oh, a little muffin yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you a bum, really? Get out of here. <laughs> Now you now I spent some for her and for me. Okay. So now I probably add up to about ten bucks, right? Right. Ten yeah, bucks. Man. So times ten, 
Well, mm-hmm. 10 times 10, that's 100 now. So that's right. like $100 I'm spending on these chicks, and it's not even guaranteed I'm mm-hmm. going to actually do something with these women. And then you got to put right. uh, the time in as well, you know, to uh, uh, to get there and then to get back, you right. know, and then the time and effort I got to do to call these women. I feel like it's not even worth the effort, bro. I feel like, you know, this is, you know, the mm-hmm. internet age, it's an automation age. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I feel like you can do... <laughs> What I'm doing at home, like this is a date for me. Like if I'm fucking with a chick, this is the date. Oh my god! Right. Video <laughs> chat today. She ain't gonna see me until I smash. Until she confirm, I'm going. I'm, you give me some puzzle. Now I feel what you're saying that the, the 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 thing is with dates. Dates generally, I, I did a video about this a while too, a, a while ago. Dates generally are for women. So what I mean by that is, <laughs> really? is is if you get with a girl or you or you have a girlfriend. You know, your girlfriend is going to yeah. want to go on dates like you don't really care as a man. You could just sit and chill and stay home and watch TV. And that's good enough for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a dude. You know yeah. what I mean? But for women, they like to be taken out. They want to dress nice. They want to do all the other stuff. But when it comes to dating, when you first meet in a woman, what it is, is that is more so. And, I, and I, I did a video about this, too. I was like, the only reason for a guy to really go on a date in most cases is because sometimes you want to fill out the chick you're dealing with. Because, like you said, even though you're saying, okay, I'm spending $10 here, and, and it's good to go on a cheap date so you don't spend too much, but it, it's going to cost you more money to deal with a crazy chick than it is to, like, vet the chicks out for, on, from, the, from the jump. You understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, myself, my other friends, whatever, we've been in situations where we've dealt with chicks who are just on some crazy stuff. We brought them back to the crib. And it would have been better if we would have, you know, felt them out a little before we took them back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying in some cases you want to go on them dates to fill out the chicks because you don't want to end up in a situation where you're with a chick who, you know, she's she's not quite uh, all there upstairs. And then that's, that could bring drama to your situation. You feel what I'm saying? So sometimes it's just sometimes you want to f- find out, OK, this chick is, uh, mm-hmm. you know, she's she's OK for me to, to continue or to even do something that night with her. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you don't want to bring a chick just straight to your house from if you meet them online or whatever it is like that. Because sometimes this the the you know the situation ain't that great. So that's that's why I advocate for dates um in the long run. You understand what I'm saying? Like there's gonna be times where you meet a chick, you feel her out, you meet her at a party or something, he's like, All right, she's cool, I'll take her back and smash. But in, in general, it's like, you know, you wanna I say at least go out for like an hour and get a drink and then take her back if you see how you know how she is or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah, if you meet her online, because you know, but, but that's, exactly. that's all I'm saying. Those crazy chicks ain't worth it. That's all I'm that's all I'm saying. You know, you don't want it to well, I, I mean, well, my thing was like, mm-hmm. well, my process is really like, hey, you get the girl number, right? You holler at her, get the right. number, right? Mm-hmm. I get on the phone with her, and then right. from the phone, we graduate to video chat, and once she confirms it's gonna be some sex popping up, then see she's that that's <laughs> What you doing that? <laughs> I mean, that could work too. That could work too. I mean, if you're gonna do it that way, that could work too. I, all I'm saying is, you gotta have. I feel like you have to have, it, in, in some cases, that little window to sort of feel the chick out. And I, and I think I think what happens is is that it's more so, um, you know, when you're a guy who's sort of been in the game and you've been dating around or you've been messing with a whole bunch of girls, yeah. you 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 have more of an experience of dealing with a chick who's. A psycho you understand what i'm saying and once you've had if you have one good experience where you feel like you about to lose your life or your freedom or something you you start to think a little tw- I'm, I'm, it gets that crazy it, then you start to say okay let me let me fall back yeah, a little bit and not just you know <laughs> you know uh, uh just takes this chick straight to my house because i don't even want her to know where i live at this point you know what i mean like so it, get, it gets dangerous that in that way you know what i mean so you gotta you gotta protect yourself uh at all costs when it's when you when it comes out here to the game you know i don't want to scare anybody but things could go yeah, it's, a it's a way. wedding process I guess. right you know what i'm saying like they actually had this dude the other day he was uh he met this chick online he brought it back to the crib right. and she came back the next day with like five dudes and they shot him in the head you feel what i'm saying so you gotta wow. you gotta be careful out here wow. <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's it's crazy like, you gotta be careful wow. that's all i'm saying like, just feel yeah, like I, I think that's yeah. yeah, I think that's why women also like to go on dates so that we can fill out the guy and make right, sure he's not right. like a, a murderer, you know, like a exactly. psychopath. <laughs> I'm not meeting anybody and be like, yeah, let's go to your house and watch a movie. I don't care if <laughs> I, I have been on video chat with you. <laughs> be like, up? what? Uh, no, I'm not going to come to your house. 
house. I've had guys do that, like like online dating, be like, oh yeah, just meet me at my house. No, I don't know you. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to smash them. Right? It's What's dangerous, that? man. He could have AIDS too. Let's talk about that. Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, hey, uh, AIDS, you, know, AIDS, AIDS, right? you know, it's 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 not like it's not as easy to catch AIDS as oh, a, a there straight you go. person. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, wait, wait. statistically, statistically, the top people who who have HIV are like white gay males <laughs> and black gay males. Fire. So I'm just saying it's it's statistics because there's, there's, there's a you know I'm not a big statistic guy. There's, there's, you know, there's a lot of information out there <laughs> letting you know that it's not as uh cra- that's the thing with STDs too. Like people get they get scared by it. it's, it's it's a lot of propaganda out there about STDs. You know what I mean? A lot of STDs are gonna kill you. You feel like, so you can get them shits. Cleared up or whatever. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, honestly, I, oh, I kind of like jumped in, but you said uh, the STDs is more like, well, AIDS and stuff is transferred more through homosexual sex, or what? Yeah, that's the uh, uh, statistically. Yeah, they say that's, that's like the a top. Thing. Yeah, right. like the top. Uh, the, like, so if you're a straight man, um, and also like if you're a straight dude and you have sex with a woman, let's say she has it, it's mm-hmm. less likely you'll. It's, it's harder for a guy to catch it from from a woman that even if she has HIV. You understand what I'm saying? It's easier for a guy yeah, to give it to her. Know? You feel me? So. It's a lot of different shit with that. Yeah. So, you know, well, you still got to be careful though, whatever, yeah. with whatever you're doing, you know? Because right. <laughs> like, what if he buy curious, you know? <laughs> exactly, you get exactly right. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you got to be careful. Uh, Brittany, you be careful. Nobody got none of that shit. Go sit down. <laughs> you don't do that. We'll do oh, that. man. I'm going to take the app off your phone. We we'll don't do none of that. Jesus shit, Christ. Now nah, they, they actually got this new thing called Bud Sex. You ever heard of that? What? Where what? these guys. It's called bud sex, like your buddy, like you have sex with your buddy. Like ah. it's some it's some gay stuff where, well, it's, it's technically sh- quote unquote straight guys who uh, hang out with their friends and then they have sex with their their male friends and they call it bud sex. Like, hey, we're buddies. Yeah. We're just going to do each other because we're here. And I'm like, nah, that's, yeah, that, that's I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dude's doing that, that shit. Yeah. It's terrible. Nah, okay. Hashtag bud sex. <laughs> if y'all look nope. it up, it's up here nah, all day. See, we gotta hit you with this. No, no. Oh, I thought that was him. I was like, what? You gotta stop it with all these damn things. <laughs> <laughs> we got the butt sex. Nah, we good on that. So if I hear you, if I see you hanging out with your friends too much, hey, then I gotta ask. My butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you? What y'all been doing together all day? That's Wait, funny. You got some questions while you up there on, on fucking. Well, I, no, I was looking up butt sex, dude. Look, nah, well, I gotta look it up. We can do that next show, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see what I mean? Well, I mean, I was trying to let you get like your formal introduction out. You know what I mean? And then, and then I can talk about my struggles. Mm, so uh, with listen, you. man, we trick you now. We need couples counseling, okay? We trick you to come on this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought we were okay, but couples counseling. He's Miss calling this style. You did. <laughs> With the get it in, Brittany. You're killing me, dude. Um, so I have a question for you. Um, why? So, I well, and we're gonna actually talk about each other. So, these are we have we are real life couple people. Uh, for your listeners who might be listening, um, so I wanted to ask, why does loving me and making future plans with me scare him so much? Mm. (laughs) Like, (laughs) legitimately scare him. Like, he, yeah. Like, yeah, what do you, what do you like mean? Give me, give me an example. Afraid. Give me an example. Um, y'all hear all this shit? Listen, Ms. Kanye. <laughs> I was listen, like, man, I've been together think. three years. You see all these decorations? This right. is what I did for her for uh, her birthday. You see all this shit? So, oh y'all, so y'all, 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 y'all live together? No, nah, we don't live together. Oh, we'll use that one as an example. There we go. See, that's the one we went <laughs> and, into. And y'all been, together um, for three, y'all been together for three years? Yes, yeah. Sir. And he is afraid to move in together. Dude, oh, I just got the crib, man. It was like a year and a half. Well, you know, you know what it so is. He's, well, it's not my fault. It's not you know my fault. Is. I just want to say that. No, nah, you know, it's what not it my is, fault. Though. You've only been living on your own. <laughs> you know what it is for, for for a lot of guys, and I think a lot of women don't understand this. Is that a lot of for a lot of guys, it's about freedom. So if you mm. are, if you're with a <laughs> dude, up. if you're with a guy, and you can um, basically be with him. And 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 simultaneously, uh, you know, create a situation where he sort of, you know, he sort of uh, feels that freedom with you. Then that's when guys sort of like flow into, you know, getting things, you know, progressing in certain ways. Like, but it, but the thing is, a lot of times guys feel like their freedom is going to, you know, 
be taken away from them, the, the deeper they get into the relationship. So I always tell women that you have to, you, you know, you, you have to understand how men are and understand certain things that men want to do and, and, and respect that. And that's the thing that's going to make the guy, uh, you know, respect you in that way to where he say, okay, that's, you know, I actually want to continue to see this girl. Like I remember Patrice O'Neill said it one time where he was like, how, you know, if I'm in a house, he was like, I want my girl there, but like in the other room. You feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes I need you to be Salute. Not, Salute. not next to me. You feel what I'm saying? I want you there, but not next to me all the time. You feel what I'm saying? And so a lot of yeah. women, they're, they're, you know, they want to cuddle and be all up under you. And sometimes you need that space as a man to be like, you know, to do your thing. And then that goes along with every aspect of the relationship. So you might want to go out and see your boys, but your girl is like, oh, but I want to spend more time with you and this and this and that. So anything that, you know, um, like sort of infringes on that feeling of freedom that makes him want to like run away. But on the flip side, the guy also has to understand that what a woman needs and then he, you have to give her that meaning you have to give her some time too. you understand. You got to be there for her to do and do this and do that. So it's a back and forth thing. So the woman has to understand the man needs freedom and the man needs to understand a woman wants some of that, that balance in it. You and, and so a lot of times guys just feel like they're, you know, they're going to lose their freedom when they're in relationship. This is why, you know, me personally, you know, I'm in open relationship, so I, I, I can't, you know, I, I can't do the oh, monogamy oh, thing because oh, oh, that's really like, I'll say anything else. <laughs> you know, open relationship. <laughs> like, I'm, you know, my freedom is like, nah, I, got, I can't, I can't with the, with the monogamy. Okay. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It's like, oh, don't give me a watch. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Right. I mean, hey, you Believe know. Believe me, man. I didn't try to negotiate. He knows what the answer is. The answer <laughs> not, is well, negative you, one trillion. Well, since you said the open relationship thing, listen. Uh, one billion. I'm not really against it. Like, I'm not really right. a jealous person. That, like, if she wanted to go sleep with another dude, it's like, whatever. Who cares? Right? My <laughs> thing is, it's like. Yeah. It's like, yeah, go on. Say what you was going to say. You want me to hear the sound effect? No, you want please. Your shot again? No, no all please. Right, Just right, come right. on. We're going to lose all our airtime to your damn sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, uh, I would be up for an open relationship, but I don't know in terms of, like, do you date multiple girls? Because I can smash mm. multiple girls, but dating yeah. is like too much. I can't do her times two or three. Right, right. I mean, it, it doesn't say that it, it all depends on what you want to do. That's that's why that's the great thing yeah. about it being open. It's not it's not anything that right. has to be done. It's all about what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, but see, this, this is the, the interesting part about open relationships is that most people. It, it, it all, well, you know, it, it depends because it depends on people's dating habits, whatever. But most people are in open relationships before they are in closed relationships, meaning when you first date in a girl. A girl and another girl. She's dating another guy and another guy. So you're basically doing an open relationship. So, right. you know what I'm so, really? so it's like you should have introduced you know I mean? it better, and then we could have made our choices wow. in the early stages, and I could have left you. Wow. I could have left you three years ago. You know so you know, it all depends on how you look at it. You know what I mean? But it's it's one of the things where it, it and this is what I teach people. You got to figure out what you want because I don't I don't encourage people to be in open relationships. I say figure out what you want and then you go after that because you know you got to figure out what's right for you everything's not right for everybody you feel what i'm saying so i know me personally monogamy was not right for me at all i i couldn't do it you understand what i'm saying i was like i i can't honestly stick with one woman and have sex with her i, I can't do it it's it bores me you feel what i'm saying so it, right, i get it i get it hey man I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> when you <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, with your open relationship, like, is it, is it like, is it is it well defined like that? Well, like, well, I'm saying like, uh, uh, you have different girlfriends or you have different sex partners, or it's both. Yeah, it's both. It's both. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'll, you know, I don't see how you do it, bro. You have two girlfriends. I can see you smash it too. Right, dang, right. Jesus. I mean, yeah, you got it. You know, you got to. Uh, person because if you like the person then you know it's it's a little bit easier to make that happen you know what i'm saying if you don't right. then you just want to you know if you if you're like them as far as just sex then it, that's it is what it is you know what i'm saying and there's nothing wrong with that you know what i mean and i think i think with relationships a lot of people put um uh this ego in relationships where there's like this hierarchy of things like they'll say well 
you know, I don't want to just have sex. I want something real. Or it's like, what does that even mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all of this is real. You know what I mean? It's like sex, you know, being in a a long term relationship is no better than a one night stand. And and a one night stand is no better than a long term relationship. It all depends on what you want at every moment. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, it is what it is. You know yeah, I get that. I get that. So it's <laughs> never like an air of jealousy where it's just like, oh well, shit, you know, with your girl or whatever. Like if she yeah, like man, that, that happens, dude, you know what I'm like saying? Because she got another dude, like, yeah, I'm about to go to Panera Bread with this name. You're like, yo, who the fuck? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So is your girl yeah, I mean, also in a like you know what I mean? Like is right, she yeah. also dating other guys? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, okay. we, we make it happen that way. And the thing is, you know, it, it just depends on it, it is also about communication because you have to communicate, talk, just like any, you know, any other relationship. You have to talk out things so that you each other know what's going on with each other, you know what I mean, and how you're feeling and all this other stuff. And and you know, we're in a very um predominantly monogamous society, so of course we're all indoctrinated into monogamy. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people are monogamous strictly based off the fact that they don't know there's any other option. You feel what I'm saying? So you're not, a lot of people don't choose it. They just, you know, are doing it. You feel what I mean? And so you know, since that is the case, you're you're sort of like indoctrinated into it. You're conditioned to, into it. So then even if you're a person having an open relationship, you still have those uh, monogamous uh, ideals sometimes in your head, and that gets caught. You get caught up in that while you're having your open relationship. You know what I mean? So, why do they call it an open relationship? What's the point of tagging it with a relationship? Like, why don't you just be out there? You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of making it a, a quote unquote relationship? Like, why don't you just go be with multiple partners? You know what I mean? Like, why don't you just have what, multiple but- people that you deal with and not really have any main chick or whatever? Well, it's, well, the thing is, every everything is a relationship. When I go to the store, then I give the guy the money. We're having a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's yeah. basically yeah. all a, it's all a relationship. But the thing is, is that again, that's what I was saying with the of the idea of what a relationship is. And people, because the people that say that all the time, they're like, "Why? Why do you have a, a you know, a, a, a this date multiple people? Why do you have like a main girl and this and this and that?" And it's like. It's the same way why you have a best friend and then you have other friends, you understand? Or, you know, you have an eldest son and you have other kids. You know what I mean? Like there's you 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 have a main job, then you got a side job. You have all these different aspects in life, but when it comes to relationships, and think it has to be this one way, you know what I mean? Like and it's yeah. it's it's crazy, you know. Well, I mean, it's interesting that I hear you say that because this is what I struggle with this girl with, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to wake her up from the matrix, right? Oh, Jesus. So my so if you can get the analogy, what I'm saying is like, how do I get her to stop thinking about what society wants and really like trying to get her to think uh what she wants more directly opposed to, you know, or investigate all the things that she believes about because you know, like with this whole moving in shit, she had a whole bit. Yo, she was all emotional. You would think she was those three students around this bit. The way she was emotional. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gleaming. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, with the theatrics, you're on. Oh, the today. theatrics. You should have saw yourself with the theatrics. So <laughs> I'm trying to wake her up out the matrix and be like, yo, listen, man, is this really what you want? Well, this is some stuff where society tells that you No, I'm, a, I'm an intelligent woman. I don't need... Uh, okay, okay go Dari, ahead. Go up? ahead. I'm going to let you have your question. Go ahead. No, it, well, the thing is, is you can't really, you can't really make anybody, uh, you know, do anything or want anything. It's, it's, oh, it's basically, you. it basically has to come, <laughs> it has to come from within the, their self, the, the person. But, yeah. you know, the most you can do is inspire somebody. You understand? Because the thing is, you know, Somebody wanting something like 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 you were saying earlier, like you know, she wants you to move in. But for you to want to move in, there has to be something within you that says, "Yo, I'm ready for I'm ready for this. I want this." Is something you know what I mean? And so the same yeah. thing, you know, for her, it's like, okay, if she wants, if you want her to feel a certain way about certain things, um, you know, you can in, in, inspire her to do that. But at the end of the day, it's something that she has to come to the realization of, and that's where anything and everybody, you know what I mean? Like people like waste a lot of time trying to uh makes people do things you can sort of influence a person but even yeah. that influence it, it all it's really doing is making that person realize uh you know 
want to do at that time when they want to do it. You know what I mean? That's really all it is. So you can sort of put the idea in there. It's, uh, you know, also it's harder sometimes too, as a man, when you're dealing with a woman and you have a relationship, it's harder to, to put um, ideas in your girl's head uh, after you've been with her for a long time. So I always tell guys, if you want a certain type of relationship, if you want something to flow a certain way, you got to do that from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and right. then in, in, in most cases, keep it in that direction. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, okay. that's how that goes. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so I have a major issue with him. Mm. Uh, uh -oh. This is something uh -oh. like, <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like, this is like a deal breaking sometimes almost. Uh, mm -hmm. He is a major control freak. Like, I'm going to give you a great example. We're in Macy's the other day and um, I needed to get some gifts from my team. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, let's just look downstairs first. I want to get some chocolate for them. He goes, he flips out. He goes, the store closes at six. We need to walk around. So because that's what he wanted to do. So whatever mm. I needed to do kind of went like went to shit because he was like, no, this must happen because I want it to happen. Like this works best for me. I'm sorry. I know you have something that you're okay, trying can to I, do, can I get a but plug? it's, but it's no, but it's not as important <laughs> as what I want to do. Right. right so, right. you know, it, it happens like this is something I, I struggle with him maybe the most between his attitude. Like, well, this is kind of tied into his attitude. Um, but mm -hmm. it's sometimes it's like walking in the store with like a toddler, you know, like your kid flips out and you're just like, all right, I'm just going to give in so they can calm down and like stop acting a fool in the store. You just go like, all right, come on, get the candy, you know, like, go oh, fine, right. you know, do whatever you want. Uh, so, so how can I like, how can we remedy this? Or is this something that I can even like, let me get my two cents in for you. <laughs> oh, you want to try right, to wait, protect wait, yourself now? Let me hear both sides. Okay. My two cents is that she's talking ahead. specifically about this basis. A whole right. bunch of shit went down. A lot of issues happened with the Macy's, right? But I specifically told her, I want to go to Macy's because this is a tradition. I, singular. This is a tradition that we like to do. We like to walk I, around and look at the Macy's and then window shop because they like he, decorated all holiday Eve. Him. Right? She didn't say anything about no chocolates. Yeah, because I was we coming agreed. from work. We agree. Now, I'll let you talk. Now, you're going to let me talk. <laughs> We agreed <laughs> on going to Macy's to window shop and have a good time together and just looking around. She didn't say nothing about no chocolates. Now, now when it comes to control issues, you teach it just like I learned. As the man, you are the leader of the relationship. Hey, hey, right? hey, don't put things in his mind. You're supposed to no, be telling no, your it's story. True. It's, it's true, though. No. <laughs> Look, don't, don't put this in his mind. He's you telling your story about Macy's. If you're done with your story, then you got to let him give his See, opinion. Let me talk. See, that's the problem. That's why I got to oh. go off on her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let her know, like, yo, you got to be quiet. So, <laughs> Listen, so we in the Macy's, so we doing all that. Well, forget Macy's. We already talked about that. But the whole point is, <coughs> excuse me, why why I, I go so hard on the, uh, on that on that end because I'm the leader, you know. Mm. I'm the leader of relationship, and she does have a say so. I'm not trying to say like, oh, just sit down and shut the fuck up. Like she has a say so. No. She can say things, but the things is the thing that she wants to do just benefits her. When mm. I take when I give instructions, it benefits both of us. So. Right. Guy, right, go ahead. Help. Well, see that that's that's <laughs> the I mean, you see, that's the hard thing um about relationships nowadays is that you know, a lot of time there's this is this is power struggle of, you know, hey, I want to do my thing and then I want you to do this and I want to do that, but you know, at the end of the day, um you know, a lot of times where, you know, the man He's basically leading the situation in, in, in most cases. You understand? I say most cases because there's always exceptions. Just listen that. to him. Was, yeah. Now, but but at the same time though, um, you know, they're they're always and this is the this is the problem that, that I feel that happens in relationships, is that there always needs to be uh thing, but also at the same time understanding that we're individuals. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. If if the if the situation was hey we're gonna go to Macy's and do A B and C and that was like the Agreed. and that's what you got agreed on then that's what should be done and then if you say hey can I go get these chocolates or whatever whatever like that 
it either could happen like afterwards because y'all agreed to do this thing first. Or if y'all want to break it up in that situation, you, you say, okay, you go over there and do your thing. I'm going to go over there and do my thing. You understand what I'm saying? So it's okay to sometimes say, okay, if we both want to do different things, we can go and do different things. Like we don't have to do the same thing at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay to break that off. Lakaya, you have no idea. <laughs> there is no option of doing it the other way. There, no, Larry, don't you try to deny this. Yes, please. That's a gun in my head. That's what that means. And that's what happened. Yeah, you got that right. You should have somebody follow me around and do that whenever I'm with you because that's how out of control you are. There would be no option of me going to get the chocolates by myself. No, he would say either you come with me or you ain't coming with me no more then or something crazy like he gets right. he has like major control issues it's not <laughs> even about him being issues. like the guy like i was taught this in the game is, you pull no, the control no. hey, see you can't even control yourself right now Look no at no and, and see see that's the thing it's not it's not necessarily like you know because he it's a two-way it's a two-way thing see um the unfortunately this you know it it, it you know you have a lot of women who are who don't who who don't like what what I want to say I, I don't want to sound mean but it's you have okay. a lot of women who who aren't very um submissive you understand what I'm saying and who don't cooperate in general I'm just I'm not saying this about you I'm just saying in general no 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 I know in general I hear you so 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 the thing is is that this this is because let's use the example of what was going on if you if you say hey thing. And then what I notice a lot of times with with you know a lot of women is that they'll try to say okay well yeah I know we said we're gonna do this thing but I want to do this other thing now so what happens is is that <laughs> it, it disrupts yeah, it disrupts the harmony of the situation you uh, understand you what I'm saying point. and honestly and so, I, I didn't even do that I usually just let it ride right. I'm like you know what fine he's about to throw a temper right. tantrum I'm not in the mood for it. Fine, like let's just walk around the mall. I'll just struggle in the morning on Christmas Day on my way to work and get my people their chocolate because this is inconvenient for She's you. So, so again, that's what I that's that's right. what I do. I never say anything, but, how but do it you doesn't. Get, but why it don't, don't you tell him how are you getting to the place that you want to go, Larry? This I'm right, not tell going. Him, no, tell him, no, because I'm bringing up this to every show. <laughs> she uses my Uber account or with my not always, money, not always, my password. Oh, oh, my right, so that's like, no, right? not that's always. how much I, I have that's my how you, own that's how list much account. A real nigga I am, and I gotta take care of my woman. All right, you want to get the chocolate? They go to Uber account, so you can go do the shit that at you gotta 7 do. 7 a.m. on Christmas Day. I don't want to get up at 7 a.m. Here's the Uber. Go ahead. See, and, and exactly. that's the thing, you know, it's it's like you know, it, it, it's a lot of it's a lot of um, you know, back and forth that's going on, and it's like there has to be more um cooperation in, in a relationship you understand what i'm saying so it's nothing wrong with you wanting to have you get your chocolates nothing wrong with you wanting to go to macy's but if that's the case it has to be you know something where it, it got to be a compromise in, in in at the end of the he day you what what I'm saying? can you tell can no, you tell him what compromise means? I told you you could get the chocolate no no i didn't get the, the chocolate though. with your money this is the thing though it, it has to be it has to be a compromise, but also at the same time, though, there also has to be cooperation, you know, the man and the woman and, and, and also the woman listening to her man. You understand? I think that's the part hey, also that's that the, gets, that gets, that gets, that gets that lost in translation. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It gets lost yeah. in the sauce because it's, it's this thing where a lot of times, and like you were saying earlier, a guy generally, and this is what women don't understand, a guy generally is trying to when a guy's telling his woman something he's like hey I, I want this to happen i want us to do this i want this to happen it's not necessarily just for him it's for the situation it's for the the the, for both the, of the us. yeah right you understand it's for both of you you understand so it's not like oh, just telling you this you know, in charge you want to... so now, so the thing now is is that sometimes <laughs> you got to say okay what can we do for the, what are we doing for the both of us to make everything run smoothly and if there are situations where I really want to uh, do my thing, let's talk about that happen where it's not going to be a struggle. Because the, the part that, that messes up relationship, again, is 
you know, basically being in a relationship and forgetting that you're an individual because you got to understand that even though you're, you're the, you're, you know, you're the man and you're, you know, you got your girl and she's following your lead at the same time, she's still an individual. So there, there is going to be certain things she's going to want to do, um, you know, for her own desires and wants and needs. And, but at the same time, what, what, what happens is women take that to the, you know, the, the, the extreme, then it becomes like, oh, well, you can't tell me what to do. I got, I can do whatever I want. I don't got to listen to you. And that's oh, when it man. becomes ridiculous. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just really yeah. about that compromise and that, you know, communication. So, you know, um, basically, you know, make the relationship run smoothly. That's, that's really what it's about. I you get know. you, man. So, I mean, she's driving me crazy. She's driving me <laughs> up the wall. Right. And I'm trying, I'm maintaining the situation, man, best as I can. Right. I'm going to give her credit and say, yo, this is the best relationship I've ever been in. Right. Why? Because I'm in control of it. Right. Uh, okay. If you say so. Need, but continue on. Go ahead. Right, it's man. fine. So, Go ahead. See, that's me being nice again. So, see? how do I deal with this girl long term, man? You know what I'm saying? Without being like, yo, man, you know what? I'm going to just put it to my head. You know, fuck it. Man, instead of just doing it to myself. You said, how do you deal with what? How do you deal with a woman long term? Oh, in a long term relationship. Yes. I mean, basically, just you guys got to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like women, women like a guy who they feel like they can count on, who they feel like is going to be there, who they feel like is, you know, the rock of the, you know, the situation. Always, always, always look at it like um, 7-Eleven. Like, you know, a 7-Eleven is open 24 hours. They let you know they're open 24 hours. So you depend on that. Like, you'd be like, oh, it's 2 in the morning. I know I can go to that 7-Eleven and get something to eat or whatever, whatever. So it's the same thing for, uh, you know, you being a man in a relationship, understanding that a woman is looking for that consistency um, to, you know, to basically latch on to. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're consistent, then, you know, things will, will uh, basically flow in that direction of her actually wanting to keep seeing you and keep being with you and also a lot of times uh, it's it's cooperate more because she sees you're that type of guy who is actually consistent you see what i'm yeah. saying because the thing is there's a lot of guys out there who won't show that consistency so she's like well i can't guy i can't act up i can't be too crazy because i don't want to have to go back out here in these streets you understand to to find one of these knuckleheads you understand so it, it all depends on you being being able to be that consistent guy you know saying doing what you say you're going to do you know um uh being that guy who's that leader or whatever uh being the guy that's responsible who actually you know takes care of his his uh situations and all that other stuff and a lot of times women will that, that type of dude and actually want to continue to see that type of guy and be with him you know what i mean and also as a, as a man you have to also be the guy who manages his relationship because a lot of times mm, you know say it to her again say it again say it again you gotta manage the relationship you got to like, I'll take it as well. Like, you, got, you gotta manage it because this is the thing get emotional you understand but men we in a such a way where we are able to thing but at the same time, do what we need to do in a situation, no matter how we're feeling. Women, on the other hand, in most cases, you know, in general, they'll feel a certain way and they might not necessarily do what's right for the situation because of their emotion. You understand? So as you as the man, you have to manage. That's church right there. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's how you keep that relationship, you know, going. And, you know, that's, that, that's, right that's what it is. Brittany, am I your 7-Eleven? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's yeah. like, what? No. Well, we about to close on you. Your uh, you, <laughs> you like the Shell gas station and shit, you know. <laughs> sometimes you're open, sometimes you're not. I'm kidding, baby. You my Seven Eleven. <laughs> I wouldn't still be here if you wasn't my Seven Eleven. Get out. But you get on my last nerve. You you like the Seven Eleven employee? No, nah, you like the Seven Eleven that don't ever have what you want when you go there. So you just like. I just selfish. Damn it! All right. Okay. Well, you know, my my questions kind of involve like stories. This is my last one. Um. So in the beginning, you know, I was uh, you know, after being in like different relationships, I determined that I shouldn't always be available to a man. Uh, if I'm dating him, like I should make a point to like make sure I'm like organizing myself so that. 
even if I have a man, I also have like my own things going on. You never get so wrapped up in a person. Right. Um, it started off like that, but then I don't know, I went wrong somewhere and now I'm con like, I feel like there was a point where I wasn't. And then I just became like completely mm. available to him. And now he's like a spoiled brat. And like, <laughs> I'll give you an example. Like he's a truck driver, so he's on the road a lot. Right. And yeah, of course, you know, I want to spend time with him when he's home, but now it's like, okay, if he's coming home, and this is this kind of ties into like the whole like living situation as well and you'll understand where i'm coming from not advocating for it at all uh but this is just my example that i like gave to him right. he could be on the road and he could be coming back into the city at like 3 a.m mm -hmm. he doesn't care he will call me hey uh you want to just go ahead and go to the house you know uh, i'll be there at like two you know, I, you, I, I'll meet you at the house. And I'm like, uh, you know, I could just see you the next day. Well, I really want to see you. And guess what? I call you like, and it's like 7 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the fact of the matter at is. At 2.30. The fact of the matter is now. I got to like right. get myself together at my house. If I like, if maybe I worked that morning and then I came all the way home. We live like very far from each other, maybe about 30 minutes from each other. Um, I'm at home now, and now it's like, okay, now you got to get up, get your stuff together, go all the way to his house. He won't be there. You're going to get woke up. Even though you got to be to work at 7 a.m., you're going to get woke up to open the door for him. Um, or when he comes in, usually, you know, like a person can't go straight to bed when they come in the house. Uh, so I'm woke up at 2 a.m., got to get right back up at like 6 to get to work at 7. Uh, you know, like it's sometimes it's just like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, or like if he is coming home, like no matter what, like I should all, like, I, I have to come to his house. If I don't, he like flips out. Like the one time I didn't come to his house, he called me flipping out. Goddamn right. You so, should be glad I tell you that. <laughs> so, so how can you, like, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's no turning back. I started to kind of like, that was my first step. Like the first time when I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to go to his house. And I'm going to make a point to not be available for him. I'm going to show him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you showed up <laughs> like, you showed up <laughs> like Angela Bassett <laughs> said my shit on fire. And I was like, what? What's the problem? I thought you needed space, quote well, unquote. You know, like he wants his space. Well, let me get my side. Let me get my side. Well, wait Sorry. a minute. Hold on. Hold on, sir. I just want to say this really quick. I don't usually give my side on your question. So I'll, first, before you say anything, I would like to hear Lucario's response to my to my statement. Whatever, man. And then you can say your piece, okay? I'm saying you always want to tell answer you. his fucking answer. No, no. Well, based on what I'm saying. I want to hear solely based off my question. You're trying well, to influence him. Is, you know, it's, it's, it's like a communication, man. Because like, if you're, if you're sort of just doing something to like to spite him, like, oh, I'm just not going to show up and whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? It's more so let's have a talk about this situation. You know what I'm saying? And how we could, you know, make it easier for the both of us. So you can say, okay, well, maybe we need to, like, you know, one time you come over my place, one time I'll come over your place, we take turns or whatever it is. Something. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that it's you're actually um, on the actual situation versus sort of dancing around it or being passive aggressive about it. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's something that's an issue, anytime it's something that's an issue, it has to be talked about. You know what I mean? It has to be brought up, it has to right. be discussed so that you can sort of find solutions to that issue so it'll stop being an issue. Because the thing is, a lot of times, it, it, you know, a lot of people break up in relationships of uh, passive aggressive energy going on. There's a lot of resentment. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things that should have talked about that they did, but they didn't. And then yeah. it builds up and now it's like this big thing. So I think, you know, it's more so just that out and figuring out a way to uh, make that easier. And, and of course, I know you were talking about, hey, he should just move in. You know what I mean? Or y'all should move in together. Still not a solution if that's not where you're at right now. So you have to sort of figure out right. where you're at and then say, what can we do in that situation where we're both at right now to make it, you know, a little bit easier for, for the both of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And before he starts, hold on, hold on. I know. Oh, oh, one second. Man. I'm sorry. I'm not done yet because, Ricardo, I'm going to tell you what he's about to say. He's going right. to say, and yeah. please, Larry, correct me if I'm wrong. You're going to say, oh, it's not that big of a deal because I use your Uber to come to your house. Is that what you're going to say? You use my Uber to come to, come Go to my house. Go ahead, rack right? it up. Go ahead. And for two, she didn't, she didn't really put this ahead, in detail in. Because all this matters. From where I live at, it's closer to her, closer to her job. Maybe about like two miles. Right. Compared to where she lives at, it's like 13 miles. So I feel like I'm doing her a, a service 
by letting her get over here, uh, make it easy for her to get over here, having food for her to eat. Oh, and Jesus, taking here we go. Care of, and taking care of Because the there's no food at my house there. when you come to my house. But I'm saying, though, like, why would I go 13? You get me out of my way because where I live at in Chicago, the west side, she live on the south side. Right. So right. I got to go out of my way to travel to her. Remember, it's all about him. Don't forget that. Right, but I'm making it easy. <laughs> We're back to the but, I me that doesn't work. I'm for making me. it easy. I for want you. it to be easier for me. But see, that's that's the thing. It's like you, you have to figure out a way where is you know it got to be that balance because sometimes sometimes you know it's easier for you. You know you have to have times where it's easier for her. You feel what I'm saying? Because see, the, the problem happens. <laughs> Two miles for her to get to work while she complaining. <laughs> do she want to do two miles or she want to do 13 miles? Which one? What right, but, but right, but see that, that that's the thing. You, you should you should make that happen so that she could she could do that 13 miles and maybe she'll be like, oh well, this ain't worth it, and then go back. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you have to be able to be open to have those situations go the way that it's gonna go. So yeah, you can figure out what's the best situation. Yeah. What it's about. That's what I do. I'm gonna let her follow her face and then she'll be like, Oh, yeah, you was right. You know, that could be it too. That's, that's what I'm saying. That could be it too. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you know, somehow communicate and then try to like <clears throat> the situations with each other so you have to sort of see each other's perspective and, you know, make it happen that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I get you. So, uh, my next question is, right? This might be this might go for like women in general, right? So um I wanna know like, you know, when things are going good in a relationship, mm. things that you guys are really vibing, having a good conversation, going to nice places, having a good time, either that can be like uh you're dating, you know, or are you actually in a relationship. Now, like like what she did, she messed up the harmony in this relationship a couple days ago by at but by trying to change things, right? Hmm. So my thing is, why do women always want to change things when it's actually going good? So our relationship is going good. Did she open her mouth and said to me, how "This is just his personality too. He's not an overly aggressive in person, in or like right. any other the other dude that's dating a girl." You know, like, hey, things are going good. Oh, so what are we? What, what, I, I just can't be uh, some girl. You just hanging out like, damn. Why do girls feel like the need they want to change? Uh, right. Good. Well, the thing is, the thing is, the reason why they they want the change is because a lot of that change seems like progress. And also, um, what happens is, is that a lot of women have in their mind that uh, the more that you know, quote unquote, progresses, that means that they're more successful in their in their basically in their life. You understand? Because from when they were younger, they were drilled into their head. Okay, well, you got to find a man, got to get married, got to do this. And man, that. who are you telling you me? Listen, listen, I got to jump in because and, and a I, lot can see, <laughs> I can see the indoctrination right now because I have a son, right? And my sister has a, a, a girl. So, but and then I got two cousins. So, two girls, right. two boys, two young girls, right? Two two young boys, right? So. I see now Christmas just passed, right? Right. <laughs> right. So the kids, so all the boys, you know, they got video games and, and monster trucks and WWE shit. And the girls, they got a whole bunch of dolls. So on one corner, they like, oh yeah, this is my baby. And the other boys on the other side, they right. yeah. <laughs> they doing all that shit. So I can see where it starts real early, like how they really like want to get married and do all this shit. From a very young age, and now you know they playing video games. They're not thinking about like what? What you talking about moving in? Right. What you talking well, about? We playing WWE. <laughs> well, also too, you gotta understand for like um, from a woman's perspective, um, you know, women are looking like you know a woman's biological need is to you know get pregnant, have kids, and and you know repopulate the earth and shit you know what i'm saying so they're looking for mm -hmm. that when they find that one guy that they really like or they they feel like oh i he could be the one that i could do all that stuff with so then it's like oh cool you're here so let's let's move it along let's get going with this plan of you being that guy to be you know what i'm saying <laughs> to be that dude for me i've been thinking you know about this since i was eight yeah. right, right. so so but but for guys again like i was saying earlier our our whole vibe is about freedom which is why a lot of guys are you know 
married, he's scared to be in a, come in a relationship, you know, stuff like that, or they don't want to be because they feel like their freedom's gonna, you know, get, you know, go or whatever. You understand? And but also women um they'll want all those different things because sometimes too they look at that type of lifestyle or getting those things as their happiness so they're like well i'll, I'll finally be happy once i get you know my boyfriend to marry me and do all this other stuff and we'll have a family and everything's gonna be perfect and a lot of women actually uh are the ones who end up wanting to, to divorce their husbands and I, my theory is that a lot of women end up divorcing because they get married and they realize that, you know, getting married wasn't the thing that was going to make them happy. You feel what I'm saying? And so they're like, what the hell is all this shit? And I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's a lot of different things going on with that when it comes to like, you know, women and, and why they want to, you know, really do the things they want to do when it comes to relationships. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So, all right, man, next question, man. Listen. This is this is something that we argue about right in our household, right? So she says to me all the time, like, uh, does that mean you? Oh well. My yeah, it's all good. So uh she says all the time in a relationship, like, you know, mm. women are always losing, which I disagree. I think men are always losing, right? But the thing is, it's like, you know, women, you know, they go on a crusade not to learn the game trying to change men and mm. all that. But as the game, like you're teaching it, you you were teaching us to accept uh, uh female nature and behavior and work around mm. it. So my question to you is why are women mm. so like uh so hard pressed on trying uh to not to not accept the game and just trying to make up their own rules as they go along and you see the way they become unsuccessful with what they doing. Right. Well, I mean, you know, this is this is the, the I mean, for generally for women, it's interesting because women just want to do things when they want to do it. They want it the way they want it, no matter what it, the reality of the situation is. This is why you have women who, you know, um, and who aren't that, you know, they don't bring enough to the table or they're not that attractive, but they want like the, you know, the best looking guy, the guy with the most money. And it's just like, well, realistically you're probably not gonna get that dude in most cases you understand what i'm saying and so it, there's yeah. a there's a there's a disconnect between um what the, the what the reality is and what women actually want and what they want to happen you understand so a lot of times this is why a lot of women are frustrated in relationships because they don't really know the reality of and so they think, okay, I can change him. I can do this. I can do that. But if they understood how men really were and understood like how to actually get the guy interested and get him, you know, to want to come in and do all this other stuff, then it will be a little bit more easier for women in the long run. But a lot of times women sort of ignore situation and they just say, well, I want this to happen. I want him to do this. I want him to do that. But it's not really about that. It's about you understanding the natural progression of things when it comes to relationships and understanding who you're trying to get. It's almost like if you're a salesperson, you need to know your target audience. You got to know what they're, they're going to want to buy into. And unfortunately, what a lot of women are selling, most men aren't buying. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the, you know. Oh, really? You heard that? Please, with these damn sound effects. Stop it. So that's the thing that you know messes it up sometimes. Y'all yeah, don't know shit, Brittany. Okay. <laughs> so, no, no, this is, so this thing, is exactly Brittany. what I do. I just say, okay, baby. All right. <laughs> yeah. don't know shit, You're right. You're right. Just so he stopped. Uh, okay. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> you're right, baby. That's everything right. Yeah. So is nothing. it like female ego that they just can't get past? Because, I mean, I look at, like, you got, I know you got two YouTube channels, right? One for the guys, one for the girls. Right. right. The one for the guys got thousands of views, but one for the girls can't even break a hundred. Like, and I look at well, it like these honest, girls can't really accept the game. What? No, it's not. It's not the case. To be honest, until I don't even know, maybe a few months ago, I didn't even know anything about him having a page for women. But I'm saying he's still dropping game, though. But the point is, is maybe women don't know about it, Larry. Nah, women Please, know about it. Not, I mean, you know what it is. I, I didn't. I didn't know about it. So I'm a woman, and you know, I didn't know about you know what it. What it is is honestly, it's hard for women to to take um, like constructive criticism. You understand? Mm. Because this is why the Steve Harveys of the world, 
are making mm-hmm. lots of money because they know that in order to, uh, you know, into relationships and advice, you have to pander to them. You have to tell them what they want to hear. You have to tell them, you know, that, oh, it's, you know, everything is the man's fault. And so it's it's a thing where women need to feel good about the information they're getting versus <laughs> getting the, the right information. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the that's the agree. dilemma when it comes to giving you know women relationship advice is that either you're going to tell them the truth and they're going to ignore you, or you're going to tell them the lies and then they're going to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the I mean, unfortunate thing when it comes to uh, for women uh, in most cases. Go ahead. I mean, honestly, I have to just say I don't agree. Um, I'm never I'm looking. I'm not, <laughs> no, no, I'm, ser- I'm dead serious. I know you guys think it's a joke, but I'm serious. Um, I'm not looking for, I mean, if that was the case, I wouldn't ask you any questions that I'm asking now. I mean, right. to be honest, like, I need a man's opinion on how to deal with him because I'm not a man. So, and I'm okay with someone saying, well, maybe you did this wrong. Like, I would much right. rather than to give myself a constant headache because I find myself so you're, 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 with him a you're, lot. You're, uh, you're, the, you're the exception because most most women no, they, don't give her no know. props like that. No, no, no. no. What, what sound effects that? Effect that? What a sound effects that? Let's she turn it on. Like rest of. <laughs> yes. I didn't, give, I didn't drop no bombs on her. No, I didn't drop no bombs. She dropped the bomb. He dropped the bomb on you. That's what that was for. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lucario. Oh no, I was just saying. You know, you, you're the exception because most women. They do not want to hear it. You know what I mean. So, and 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 that's and it's unfortunate because um, there's so many, there's so much, uh, you know, benefit that a woman can get from understanding, you know, the game for real. You know what I mean, and understanding mm-hmm. how men actually think. You know, and understanding how men actually operate. You know, so a lot of women don't know this. So this is why women continuously get played. You know, continuously um, are you know single like you ever know like it's it's almost funny every time when i hear a woman who's you know she's maybe in her late 20s early 30s she says she can't find a man it's like how you understand like you're you, i'm sure you have absolute <laughs> you know like i'm sure you have guys all the time trying to get with you why can't you keep one what's going on you know what i'm saying either all mm. the guys are crazy on with you it's either one of those two you know what i'm saying so it's like one of those things it's like you got to really understand the reality of the situation, but, you know, that's how it goes yes. with uh, certain ladies out there, you know? Yeah, I get it, man. They all just want to feel good about the situation, don't want to hear the truth, man. I really think it's a lot of female ego, man, because, I mean, a lot of people talk about male ego, but nobody really touches on female ego because, like, women, like you said, they can't take the, the, the criticism. They can't really look at themselves objectively and say, yeah, I probably messed up. Nah, it's right. just some other nigga. Nah, nah, that's some other dude on YouTube. I ain't gonna shot this bum ass nigga out. Hold wow. On. Okay. Shot let's that not. Nigga. Let's not. Yeah. Cause okay. he a lame ass nigga telling us. Uh, All right. Kid, oh man, y- y'all niggas got a shit to get off the pot. Like man, get your bum ass up out of here. Who, 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 who you talking about? No, I don't please. Shout him out, man. But you know, no, don't do it. The, I mean, the nigga Jackson. You know his name? That- oh damn. <laughs> That bum ass nigga. Yo, that, that dude, man, that dude's a genius, man. He's a yeah, fucking will, genius. He is a genius. Mean, but I can't, he's a smart man. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, he's a genius kids, because. Lucario, I know what you mean. Kids, Derek, yeah. Derek, look, Derek Jackson is a genius because he knows that there's a lot of women out there that are are, are kind of like slow. You understand? So he knows that, okay, I can say all this, all these lies and all this bullshit. And they're gonna eat it up. You understand? They're, and then they're, then they're gonna fantasize about me because I'm a decent looking guy, and and think that they can get a guy like me. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spew out all these things and have them feel like you know, oh, you know, it, it just this is how it is, and you're gonna like Derek Jackson. He gives women hope. You understand? He gives women hope. Um, no, he gives them false hope. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, exactly. He gives false them false hope. hope. <laughs> There's no man out there with all those damn memes. I see those memes all the time. I was like, oh, why you, know, you stop it? There's no man out here that's like going through all this shit. If he does like, and if he is, he's only doing it so he can get something else out of the deal. He's not doing it from his heart. Right. Right. He's he's a goddamn yeah, he's genius. Selling crack the kids. He's selling crack the kids, man. I mean, I can't <laughs> salute him, man. I can't salute crack him because I mean. Listen, he's messing the game up for dudes like me who keep it real with girls right. and tell them what it is. And because they're right. going to be like, nah, you got to be light. 
what Derrick Jackson talking about. You got to be laying your he, he hustling, man. He's hustling. That's what he's doing. You know, he's like. I can't hate on him for that, though. You can't I hate mean, on him I for that. I can't hate on him because, I mean, he's not like. Like he's fucking girls up in the long run. Right. I mean, I don't agree. I don't agree with what he's doing, but I I I understand the hustle. You understand? Like I understand why. Yeah. Like you know, but you got to be a special kind of person. To say shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like you gotta. I don't understand. Like I yeah, I can't do special. it. I'm saying I can't, I can't yeah. sit there and blatantly lie to millions of people. I don't know. I can't do this shit. But you, well, know, Carlo, you gotta get own. this paper, man. What's up? Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do in these streets. He's selling shirts. <laughs> he got uh, he got hats and shit. Oh, I was like, man. How, but, why know. would you buy this? But yeah, no, yeah. you don't know. No. Well, my, for me, I ain't hating on him because if I had a thought of it, I would have been out there got uh, the audience, man. You know, somebody yeah. as as Derek Jackson putting putting memes out. Making money because he's making money. Yeah, he's making money. He's selling crack to kids, Brittany. I can't say. Hey, but that, guess what? Man. There's still drug dealers on the street, Larry. There's still, <laughs> we can't clean the streets, man. It's man, like that. Whatever, man. So, I mean, hey, man. Thank you, Mr. Cario, for being on the show, man. Appreciate you having me, guys. Uh, this is fun, this is man. I, I hope I didn't, hope I didn't uh, you know, uh, you guys aren't going to get into argument. After I get no. off, of the no, 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 uh, no, for real though. Uh, thanks for ha- uh, thanks for joining us. It was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you guys Thank having you. me. I, I really do, man.